In this video, we are going to look at the Holy Spirit as our deposit guarantee, arabon in the Greek. And our goal for doing this is to better understand the salvation transaction. Salvation in Scripture is depicted as a rather complex transaction, and it is important for us to understand how this transaction works. So let's read Ephesians chapter 1, verse 14 in the Greek. O estin arabon, tis kleronomia simon, is apolitrosen, tis peripiseos, is epenon, tis doxis autu. Who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it to the praise of of his glory. And let's back up one verse and read chapter 13 with chapter 14 to get the fuller picture and the context. We read, In him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, who is the guarantee, Arabon, of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it to the praise of his glory. So, question, what does this guarantee, Arabon, mean? And the answer is that the believer's part of the salvation transaction is completed when he hears the gospel, believes it, and it is sealed. The Arabon signifies that we are guaranteed to be glorified by receiving our imperishable bodies. Now, it's always helpful to look at examples uh, of complex theoretical propositions, and salvation as a transaction is a complex theoretical proposition. So let's look at how this word, arabon, is used in the Septuagint version of Genesis 38, 13 through 20, which reads, It was told to Tamar, Behold, your father-in-law is going up to Timnah to shear his sheep. So she removed her widow's garments and covered herself with a veil, and wrapped herself and sat in the gateway of Anaim, which is on the road to Timnah, for she saw that Shelah had grown up and she had not been given to him as a wife. When Judah saw her, he thought she was a harlot, for she had covered her face. So he turned aside to her by the road and said, Here now, let me come into you. For he did not know that she was his daughter-in-law. And she said, What will you give me that you may come into me? He said, Therefore, I will send you a young goat from the flock. She said, moreover, will you give a pledge? Arabon, until you send it. He said, what pledge, Arabon, shall I give you? And she said, your seal and your cord and your staff that is in your hand. So he gave them to her and went into her, and she conceived by him. Then she arose and departed and removed her veil and put on her widow's garments. And when Judah sent the young goat by his friend, the Adulamite, to receive the pledge, Arabon, from the woman's hand, he did not find her. So, summary and conclusion. First, Judah is the contracting party in Genesis 38, and God is the contracting party in Ephesians 1. Number two, Judah gives his seal, cord, and staff to Tamar as the Arabon deposit guarantee in Genesis 38. God gives the Holy Spirit to the believer as the Arabon deposit guarantee in Ephesians 1. And three, Tamar's part of the transaction is completed when she has sex with Judah in Genesis 38. And the believer's part of the transaction is completed when he hears the gospel, 
and believes it in Ephesians 1, this is why it is sealed. It is a mark of completion. And finally, in conclusion, therefore, once a person has heard the gospel and believed it, he is justified. He has completed his part of the transaction. It only remains for God to complete his part of the transaction and bring the believer through to glorification when he receives his imperishable body. We read in Romans 8.30b, whom he justified, he also glorified. So the moment that we are justified, we are guaranteed by the Arabon that we will also be glorified. The Arabon is given as the down payment at the time of justification, which guarantees that the final payment will be made and we will be glorified. We will receive our imperishable bodies. As it is written in 1 Corinthians 15, 54, but when this perishable will have put on the imperishable, and this mortal will have put on immortality, then will come about the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. <laughs>